Hey guys, Chris from Crua. We're so excited that we're able to send out the hammock colors this week. So what we wanted to do is just give you a quick idea of what you're going to be getting when you get the hammock color and just some tips and tricks on how to put it up and how to use it. So when you get the hammock color, you're going to see that you're going to get some instructions. You're going to get your, your guy lines, your ridge line for the top of the hammock color. You'll get some stakes and some extra um, supports, some extra guy ropes there for the, for the hammock color itself. You're going to get the bag that it comes in and then of course the hammock color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through a couple of steps. Um, so we're going to move over to the tree in a second. As you can see, I've got the koala set up here already. You can use most hammocks with the, the hammock color, so no need to have a koala, but if you do, um, I've gone ahead and taken the poles out for now, just because I, it's easier to put this on and I'll show you why. So what I like to do is I slip the, co the hammock color over the koala, or over the hammock, instead of trying to put it around it, just makes it a little bit easier. So I've put my hand all the way through and you can see you've got little toggles here that are gonna snap onto the ridge line. So I've made sure that that's on top and I've put my hand all the way through. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this piece here with my hand and I'm gonna push it through and clip it back into the tree strap for us. There we go. And now what I can do is just slide the hammock color out. It's a lot easier than trying to zip it and unzip it around the outside of it. So that's what we've done to get it set up. Now what we'll do is we'll set up the ridge line and actually hang it. So you'll see the ridge lines come with these mini carabiners already attached. This is just to make it easier to set up. So I've already attached it to one side of the tree and I've moved it across and, and put it into each one of the tabs for the guy lines and slipped it through the tab at the end. Now I'm gonna wrap it around this side of the tree and pull it tight. Um, now there is a, a fancy knot on here that you can use to try and slide it and make it tighter or looser if you want. Or you can do the good old fashioned way and tie it around the tree. Or I'm gonna wrap it around a few times because I have some extra guy line with this particular setup um, and clip it back on my carabiner for safety. So as you can see, I've made it nice and tight here because you don't want this to flop down on your face when you're in the, the hammock. And like I said, so I've made it nice and tight there and I'm just gonna clip it back to the carabiner for safety and we're good. So you'll notice at each end of the hammock color, we have these cinches here with toggles and it gives you the ability to just cinch it up and tidy everything up. Um, but you wanna make sure you don't cinch it all the way because any setup that you've got, whether it's a, a hammock collar here, a hammock, a tent, even your home, you always wanna make sure that you've got plenty of room for air to flow through. Um, so in this case, we don't have it cinched up all the way, so plenty of air can get through there. Um, as a matter of fact, as, as far as air is concerned, we also have built in a vent that's here. Generally should be above your head, so that way it's, it's, you're getting clear air flow in and there's a brace. So you always wanna make sure that that's braced open whenever you're using it. Um, there's also another hole here in the middle, again, for further airflow. Um, and on the other side is the, the pocket that holds the hood for the poncho. Um, and the last thing is, you'll notice that these tabs are on either side. Now, I happen to have the spreader bars in here and the koala, so it pushes the hemicola out. Um, but if you don't have that, you can always guide this out and it'll keep it from squishing you too much inside. Um, and if it happens to be windy, it'll, it'll help you stop the rocking a bit. So again, I mentioned this is the hood for the poncho here. When you get your hammock color, this may be Velcroed up across the top. That keeps that air hole closed. So just know that when you get into it, to unvelcro it and stick it back on the other side. And again, that gives you that fresh air through that hole. Okay guys, so as you know as well from the campaign that the hammock color also splits right here at the middle. The bottom half can be used as an underquilt. The top half can be used as a poncho. You can get more information on that in the instruction manual. So there you go, there's the hammock color. Hopefully on your doorstep soon, if it's not already. We'd love to hear about your adventures, so please send us some pictures. And if you have any questions, please contact us at support at crewoutdoors.com. Enjoy.